Hi, artist friends, I'm Blake. I'm sure you have all heard of AI, artificial intelligence, and you're probably wondering how that applies to you as an artist. Well, recently I have been harnessing the power of AI to help me with my abstract art. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do that to help expand your shape vocabulary. What you want to do is just go to your browser, any browser, whatever one you use, and in the search type chat GPT, and you're going to get chat GPT. It's got this little icon here. Tap on that or click on it, and you're going to have to log in. It makes you put an email address, and I just use my Google email address. It asks you, how can I help you today? And what you want to do is just go right, tap into the GPT chat box right down here. And let's type in, I'm trying to expand my shape vocabulary as an abstract artist. Let's just see what it does when I type that in. It says, that's a great idea. Exploring different shapes can add depth and variety to your artwork. You could try experimenting with geometric shapes like triangles, squares, and circles, as well as some more organic forms like curves, spirals, irregular polygons. Don't be afraid to combine and layer shapes to create interesting compositions. And remember, sometimes even the simplest shapes can be transformed into something unique with color, texture, and scale. Happy creating, so we know that. Now I wanna get a little bit more detailed. Okay, so I wrote, give me a list of simple shapes so I can practice drawing them. And it just gave me a list of shapes. Start with these basic shapes and gradually move to a more complex ones as you gain confidence. Happy drawing. Uh, and now I'm gonna ask it to give me a different list. So um, I would like a simple list of everyday objects to draw. And it gave me a list of fun things to draw. Let's try something different. So it said, here's your list of organic shapes that can help you expand your vocabulary and abstract art. I got a leaf, a cloud, a pebble, a wave, a seashell, a feather, a tree branch, a flower petal. I prepped some sketchbook pages because rather than paint these shapes on boring white backgrounds, I thought it'd be fun to have fun backgrounds. So I just did a few pages with just some really quick collage and painting material. You can do this on your computer or on your phone or on any device. I'm gonna use this list right here. So mug, sunglasses, umbrella, bicycle, camera, cupcake, book. Sunglasses. I'm not going to be perfect about these. An umbrella. A key. A hat. Cloud. Donut. Toast, with a piece of butter on it, fish bowl, cupcake. If you're wondering what these shapes are on my hands, they're temporary tattoos that I thought would be fun to wear for today's episode since we're doing shapes. Star, a shoe. I'm gonna spray that with some fixative. To finish this, I asked ChatGPT, give me some ideas how to add details to an abstract painting. And it gave me some ideas like use texture, vary, uh, various tools, um, 
Add line work with brushes, pens, or markers, thin, delicate, intricate lines, or bold, expressive ones. Use collage elements. Create dynamic, spontaneous effects by splattering or dripping paint onto the canvas. Let's try that. Got some splatter. And then I just push the brush, the wet brush, and so it drips. Use mixed media. So, okay, let's use some charcoal. I'm gonna outline this mug. Pay attention to negative space. So I think that's a great idea. So let's go in and fill in some of this negative space. This negative space right here. It suggests uh, using collage materials. This is just a bubble wrap that I transferred to tissue paper, which could be fun. Uh, suggests that I play with contrast, so um, I think I could probably push the dark a little bit more on this. shape so we are obfuscating some of our shapes but but they did give us ideas so that was what was nice about it um, it suggests contrasting rough and smooth texture against the smooth Have a little rough in there we can bring some light into it as well line work so i was i'll do some dots i think those are like lines sometimes you want to actually see the objects you're drawing because i don't necessarily know what a jellyfish and I don't know maybe I don't know what a jellyfish looks like another thing you can do is download the chatbox AI app there's an AI image generator so you tap on that I'm going to ask it show me a bunch of sea creature illustrations in black and white in a simple style and I'm gonna hit go and it's generating now I have been trying to make this thing do what I want it to and you have to phrase things in a certain way and I feel like this is okay. I kind of want a more illustrative style but like more iconic and I've been fighting with it to do that. Um, let's try a different one. Bunch of simple objects in a flat dial in black and white. And then you can hit this little button here, this little pencil. You can do it in a anime style, 3D style. I don't really like any of these because they're not really, I just need something really simple. You could try line art. So it's going to generate. I like this one. This is awesome. Look at this one. <laughs> this is really cool. You can hit the download button here and it saved it to my photos. Oh, how about fruit? 
bunch of simple fruit shapes in a flat, simple style in black and white. And I still have the line art. Uh, let's see what happens when I just do it in the regular style. <laughs> and ah, that's pretty good actually. I really like that one. So um, now it just showed me a bunch of fruit. And this was, we'll do one with fruit. I think that'll be fun. I like to keep lentils in there because then they stand up straight. They're for kids. They're called Creativity Street. They're just really cheap little brushes. I think they're hog's hair, but I really like them because they give you a really rough feel. So I'm just going to have that off to the side. And I'm not even going to draw these with a pencil. I'm going to go straight in with the brush. So not only am I learning new shapes, I'm, I'll remember these shapes and I'll be able to add them to my paintings if I want to. But I also made a really beautiful piece of art that is something meditative to do when you want to fill up your sketchbook. Um, you can see that I was sort of using, incorporating shapes in here. So some of you have asked me about this lamp here. It's a canvas lamp. You can adjust the um, brightness make it pretty bright and you can also adjust the color temperature and it's got a really great bright light and I've been using it not only to shoot videos but I've started using it to um, do my nails <laughs> that's a use that I get out of it that you probably weren't expecting this is rosy quartz but I often use dark colors like when I'm going out so um, I really need a bright light to help me now that my eyes are not like they used to be. And if you're interested in one of these, the Canvas company reached out to me and said that they would offer my viewers a 10% discount. So if you want one, you can click the link below in the description and use the code abstract10 to get the discount for that. Basic shapes that a child can copy for an art project. Let's try these. I know they were in color, but I think they would be really fun to draw. Ivory colored Posca pen.
These are shapes that I would not think to draw on my own. Look at all those little interesting details in there. These are really cool, actually. It's giving me some really interesting ideas that I never would have thought of before. They're almost like origami shapes. I really like this, just the way it is. That was a lot of fun. We did our fruits based on a chat GPT search. We did just some very simple shapes and these are shapes that I got from copying them off of the AI image generator. And then we just went crazy and we started playing with expanding the painting from the original stuff. And this is one of the paintings that I did the other day based on this exercise as well. Hey, have fun with this artificial intelligence. And I would love for you to share some of your ideas with me. You can leave your messages in the comments below or you can email me at kitchencounterabstract at gmail.com and you can send me some of your paintings. You can send me some of the crazy images that the generator came up with if they're funny or not. I'm happy to share them on my Instagram, my Blake Cake 8 Instagram or my Kitchen Counter Abstract Instagram. I won't share any of your stuff if you don't want me to, just let me know. But I would love to see it and share it with the rest of you. It is AI, so it's supposed to be smart, right? How to draw shapes, really basic ones. Can you give me or show me a list of those? It's pretty weird. <laughs> That's not really what I wanted. It gave me flowers because it thought I meant organic. See, it didn't understand what I was saying. Closer. That was weird. <laughs> I don't like that one. It's not quite yet it either. Simple basic geometric shapes in a 2D line drawing style. Oh, mm, let me see. That's really weird. <laughs> Let's see if that works. I don't know. It's not quite what I meant. I'm going to start a new one. Oh yeah, it gave me the same thing. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> that did not understand what I wanted. Let's just see what happens. 